Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a full face of makeup that I am excited about. So things that I've been trying lately that I'm just looking forward to using them and I wanted to do a full face of those products with you. Basically a get ready with me, but just using some things that I'm really into right now. So I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting every day in December. So I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get started with the makeup. All right, for a primer, I'm gonna use the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. I've been testing this out more and the more I use it, the more I like it. I feel like maybe I like it with certain foundations a little bit better than other foundations. I'm finding if I use it with something super glowy i don't love it as much as if i use it with something that's a little more on like the natural finish side or kind of a natural matte finish i guess it feels really really good on my skin too also i did already put some elf brow lift in my brows just to save a little bit of time because my brow products or my brow soap or brow wax products don't really change. So I we went ahead and did that. Okay, I'm gonna use the NARS Toffee Concealer as color corrector today. This has just been the one that I've been wanting to use lately, even though it's not even really meant for color correction or just it's, it can be used as color correction. It's not like called color corrector, but the shade works well. I'm actually gonna use a small little eyeshadow brush, the A501 from BK Beauty, and just start tapping this in. I usually use that little AOA Studio brush, but I've been seeing a lot of people using eyeshadow brushes for under the eyes, so I kinda wanna start trying that out. I mean, look what that little bit of product does, it's crazy. For foundation, I'm gonna use one that you haven't seen me use yet. I've been testing it out and using it on my own. But we're gonna use this, the Il Maquillage I Woke Up Like This Flawless Foundation. I had not tried this until the last few weeks. I have been creating some content for Il Maquillage and uh, I've been testing out this foundation for them. So I'm gonna use shade 25. I also have shade 20. I used that one the other day and I felt like it looked a little bit fair for me, so I'm gonna use 25 today. And the few times I've used this, I have really enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on this. It gives great coverage. It's, uh, I would say, definitely more of like a glam type foundation for me. I don't know that I would reach for this on like a daily basis, um, but it's a beautiful foundation, in my opinion. I'm gonna start with this A24 from Morphe and Ariel. I'm gonna get what's left on the back of my hand and start blending this in. So what I'll say about this is it's a very buildable foundation, like extremely buildable. So you can get a pretty light application with it if you apply a very small amount of product. But I will say if you use too much of it, it gives, it packs, quite a punch in terms of coverage so you just want to be careful with how much you're applying but as you can see like with this little bit that I've applied here this is in no way full coverage I think most of what I've seen that people that don't like this don't like about it is they say it's heavy and I can definitely see why they might say that but that's in my opinion, just in the amount of product that you're applying. So see, like that was not very much coverage. What I like about it is this is a very, I would say like a soft matte finish. It's not dry, flat looking matte, but it's a little more matte than a typical 
like natural finish, I would say, but I think it's beautiful personally. So that's just one layer of it. So that was not even, I don't think that was even a full pump actually. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but do you see this little scratch that I have right here? <laughs> My cat literally jumped up on the bed this morning at five o'clock in the morning, and I guess he was ready to eat, and he clawed me in the face. So now I have this lovely little scar on the side of my face. So if you're wondering what that is, you may not even be able to see it. But I keep looking at myself in the mirror and see it. So there it is, blended in. I do think this would be good for somebody if you have oilier skin just because of the finish of it. It's, I would just describe it as a soft matte finish. It's definitely not glowy, not radiant. Um, and I, I don't, I don't personally have oily skin, but I feel like if you did, this would be a good one to look into. So let's move on to concealer. The concealer that I just can't stop using, and I'm sorry, I know I keep using it, but it's because I love it and it's NARS. Once again, in the shade Creme Brulee, especially when I use toffee underneath it, it's just like the perfect combo. So I let this concealer, I think one of the keys with it, in my opinion, is to let it sit for, I would say, at least like 30 seconds before you blend it. I don't know, something about the way it sits under my eyes seems to be better if I let it sit. I'm assuming it's just because it kind of warms up on my skin. And this is a different brush than what you normally see me use. This is the Hourglass Concealer Brush. A lot of my brushes I've been washing because they're dirty. So I'm just kind of using what I have here. Something else that I've started doing again lately is taking my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I've been using this forever. I use it a lot just as my foundation for the day. But when I haven't been doing that, I've been using this and whatever brush I'm using for foundation. So this Morphe one. And I literally just tap into here and you get like the smallest bit of product and I use this to add coverage like in certain areas of my face instead of like layering on foundation. I've talked about this concealer 500 times but it is literally the best spot concealing concealer ever and it's matte so you can use it on blemishes if you have them and I just apply I mean like you can't even see the amount that I'm applying and put it on and it it's just one of my favorite things to do okay for bronzer you guys ever since I used this NYX wonder stick I have been loving it so we're gonna use the contour side today this is the shade light medium. Mm, I was gonna apply it directly to my face, but I think I'm just gonna get some on the brush. This is the BK Beauty 109. And then start just tapping this on. I did use this in one of my recent videos, one of the drugstore videos. And you can actually draw this one on and it works fine. But I don't, if I could choose, I'm always going to use a brush first. I just feel like it applies things the best. I was watching, I think it was on TikTok the other day, and something came up on my For You page, and it was, I think it was Glamour Magazine maybe, but they did like a quick little interview with Makeup by Mario, and they asked him what his easy contour trick was and he said that he likes to smile and then stamp on a contouring product because you'll get the right placement every time. Have you guys heard that? I had not heard that before. Um, so I've been doing it and I feel like he's right. Um, sometimes depending on if you're using like a bronzer or a contour, if you ever feel like you don't really know where to apply it, that's kind of a good rule of thumb. But I had never heard that. 
All right, my newest blush obsession. I actually made a short here on YouTube about this blush because I've just I just love it. I've loved it since I tried it and it's a Merit blush, but in the shade Cheeky. And I don't know what it is. I think it's the color, well, the combination of the color and the formula, but like, look at this. It's almost like a magenta pink with like a blue undertone. I just, I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna use that same brush that we used earlier and just start adding this on and this blush is very buildable so you can get a little bit of color or you can get a lot just depending on how much you apply but i mean look at that color oh my gosh i love it i'm gonna get some more on my hand and just tap this on i don't know what it is but every time i apply this color i'm just like oh all right, I'm gonna set the bronzer and the blush with a powder, bronzer and blush, and I am still loving this palette from Essence. It's the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Palette. I used this in my full face of Essence and Catrice from a week or two ago. Some days I've just been using the lighter color and then sometimes I mix them. Today I'm thinking I'm gonna mix them but I do like to kind of tap off just kind of like what I do with translucent powders just to make sure I don't have too much on. And then I literally just tap right over that contour we applied. A lot comes off on the brush when you dip into this palette. That's why I kind of tap it off just to make sure we don't get too much. I've actually been really loving a lot of the products that I've discovered in like the last few weeks since I've been doing a lot of drugstore videos. I feel like I have really found some really good products. So a lot of these today are drugstore, not everything obviously, but just things that I've been trying that I really love. So I'm going to add a little bit of a powder blush. I'm going to use Sublime Flush from Hourglass. I've honestly been using this one or the Maybelline blush I've been talking about in Mauve. They give a very similar look, but I love them because they're light. So you can really pair them with anything and they look good. Okay, and I've still been using the House Found, or not House Foundation, House Labs Powder, but I kind of just get it on my brush like this, and I haven't really been applying it super precisely, especially with this Il Maquillage Foundation. It's more of that kind of soft matte finish, so I don't find that I need a lot of powder with it. And I have been using it under my eyes, but I mean, I'm using like the smallest bit. This is the A11 from the Morphe Ariel brushes. And it's actually a crease brush, but I've been using just a little bit of powder under my eyes, like barely any. I'm gonna fill in my brows now and so if you've been watching, you know that I love the CoverGirl Micro Brow Pencil, but since I've been using this Maybelline one from my Maybelline video, the Express Brow, now I'm thinking I like this. I mean, I love the CoverGirl one still, but I wasn't expecting to like this one as much as I do. And this is the shade Soft Brown, but man, I can't believe I like this so much. I was thinking nothing is ever gonna top that CoverGirl pencil. When I used this in that Maybelline video, I just loved how my brows looked. It's a really good color. I mean, don't you think that color is good? I like it. For an eye primer, you guys, you were not lying when you told me I needed this Milani eye primer. I have been loving it since I got it for that drugstore video, so thank you for recommending it. I'm gonna apply this all over my lids and then we'll move on to eyeshadow. 
for eyeshadow. The palette that I have just fallen in love with, I think I've said this before in a different video, but this little Essence palette, you guys, the Nothing Compares to Nude, I've just fallen absolutely in love with this. Like, I can't tell you how many times I have used it since my Essence and Catrice video. I'm gonna take the cream shade in here and a fluffy brush and I'm gonna apply that all over and set down that primer. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the light brown in here and I'm just gonna use that same brush and I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid and back and forth in the crease as well. And then I am gonna take a little bit of the purpley like bronze and a small little brush and just kind of add just a little bit of this to the outer corner. Like just a little bit though because I'm gonna apply liquid liner. So I don't need a ton. Just like a tiny little bit. <laughs> And then I really like all three of the shimmery shades in here. So this one, this one, and this one. So I honestly just kind of dip my finger in all of them really lightly. And I just put like a teeny tiny bit like right in the center of my lid, but not a lot because I want just like a little bit of sparkle. And that's been the eye look that I've been obsessed with from this cute little Essence palette. I really want to do winged liner, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline, the Hyper Easy. If you saw my full face of Maybelline, I tried this liner and I've been practicing with it since filming that video. And this is my go-to right now. I've been using this to kind of, or to perfect my winged liner technique. So we're going to do it today. This is in the brown shade. Now that I'm filming myself doing it again, I'll probably mess it up, but probably not going to be able to talk a whole lot, but I'm going to shake it. And then I'm basically going to follow the angle of the lower lash line, follow it up to the tail of my brow and make my first little line. I have noticed you do kind of have to warm the tip of this liner up. If you haven't been using it, that's the only thing. So I'm drawing a little line. Then I'm going to start kind of at the center of the eye and just line as close as I can get to the lashes. And then I'm going to take I'm gonna start like right here, not all the way where I started the liner, but like halfway from where I started and where my little line is. And I'm just gonna draw a line straight out. Like that, my pen is kind of acting up. And then I'm keeping my eye open also while I'm doing this. And then I kind of fill in a little gap really really precisely with this pen come on my pen is not cooperating let me see mainly the thing that I was liking the most about this is that the tip of it is so small so it's good for if you have hooded eyes but today it's not the pigment is not coming out which is annoying I don't know what's going on, but the pigment is like not coming out. Yeah, so from a distance, that probably looks okay, but it's kind of disjointed looking because I can't, the product is not wanting to come out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it, but do you see how it's like not a smooth, even line? And it's because the, I'm like having to press and press and press and the product's not coming out. So maybe I spoke too soon on this. I love the size of it and the tip of it is perfection, but I need the product to come out. It's not working. I don't know. Like this is a brand new eyeliner. It should not be dry yet. 
Oh no, I was like bragging about this eyeliner and now I can't, can't get the pigment out. Dang it. Change of plans. I guess we're not using that one. Um, I have one other brown liquid liner. This is the one size one and this one is nice, but see how much bigger the tip on this is. So if you have a small eye or if you have a hooded eye, like look at the difference of these two. See, this one is so much larger, which is gonna be harder. I'll attempt, I've already done this eye, so. I guess this is forcing me to practice my skills with another eyeliner. This liquid liner is hard enough as it is, and if you have one that's like skipping and not applying product, that's even harder. So I, I managed to do it with that liner. So I don't know, maybe I'm just hopefully getting better at liquid liner. I don't know, I'm really into it right now. So I really want to perfect it. So I feel confident doing it. So sadly, I don't know now what to say about this. I love the size of it. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what could be causing it to already be dry. It's only like three days old. So I don't know. But before we do mascara, I am going to take a little bit of the shadow in here. Um, and I'm going to use the brown, the matte brown. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the bottom lash line. And then the mascara that I've really been loving is the Lash Sensational. And I'm still testing out the waterproof version, which is what this is. Um, I wore it the other day and I did notice that my lashes seem to be more curled by the end of the day than they normally are, but I want to keep testing it and see if that's just in my head or if it's actually true. And then last for the lips, I'm going to line with the NYX Line Loud in Global Citizen, kind of cooled off using this for a minute, but I'm back on it now. And what I'm going to use for the lips today is actually another one of these. So I used, I've used the shade Cheeky in one of my drugstore videos. I used the shade Wicked in the full, in the full face of Maybelline. And then I went and bought Peachy number 15. And I haven't used this one yet, so I wanted to use it today. I think this is gonna be a good neutral. So let's see. Okay, that's a really pretty color. I almost wanna take a little bit of cheeky. Have to do it before they dry. Yeah, I kinda wanna take a little bit of cheeky. Yeah, I kind of like the combo. Peachy is obviously more peach. This one is more of like a mauve color, so together. Ooh yeah, I really like that color combo. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I love how this turned out. The only thing I'm disappointed in is that eyeliner. That's really unfortunate, but everything else, I love how it looks. These are just things that I've been excited to use and reach for so i figured we would use them all in a video but thank you for watching i will list and link everything below make sure you're following me over on instagram at simply.blair and tiktok simply.blair1 and i will see you tomorrow for another video remember simply be you bye